Want to know how to get GED Science temperature questions right in a matter of seconds so you can boost your score and pass GED Science? Then stick around. Hi, this is Parker for Test Prep Champions and Tommy teaching you how to pass the GED fast. You can get started by clicking subscribe down below. Let's say that we have a temperature in degrees Celsius and we want to convert that to degrees Fahrenheit. All you do is multiply the degrees Celsius by 1.8, then add 32. Let's look at an example. So let's say that we've got 35 degrees Celsius and we want to convert that into degrees Fahrenheit. So all we do is we start with the temperature in Celsius, which is 35, and we then multiply by 1.8 and that gives us 63. And then we just add 32. So 60. 3 plus 32 equals 95, and the answer is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. But what about going from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius? Well, it's just as easy. You just subtract 32 from the degrees Fahrenheit, and then you divide by 1.8. So let's look at an example here. So let's say that we have 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and we want to convert that into a temperature in degrees Celsius. How do we do that? Well, all we do is subtract 32 from the degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got our 150, which is our degrees Fahrenheit. We subtract 32. And for speed, we'll use our calculator, which gives us 118. And then we just divide by 1.8. And again, the calculator in seconds gives us the answer, which is about 65.56. So we've got 65.56 degrees Celsius is our answer. That's the fast way to do it. And if you can't remember that for your test, then don't worry, you will be given the slower formulas. So here's a clip from my latest episode of Live GD Help, where I break down how to do a GD temperature conversion using the slower formula like this. All right. So I'm writing TC here and C means Celsius. So this is, or I'm talking about temperature in degrees Celsius. So a formula you might get would be, and they'll give you these formulas. Temperature in degrees Celsius is equal to the temperature of degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Minus 32 times five over nine and you won't have to memorize this but this this thing does come up a lot all right and so they might give you like a formula like this they'll say the temperature celsius is equal to temperature fahrenheit minus 32 times five over nine and they might give it to you the other way they might give you the temperature of fahrenheit and they might ask you to convert it to celsius so this is a formula that you can use all right to find the, the temperature in celsius or to find it in fahrenheit so if you want to find the temperature in celsius let's say that uh you're given a temperature in fahrenheit like let's say that you're given um, let's say you're given like 80, for example, like, so let's say we've got 80 degrees. Okay. In temperature Fahrenheit. And we want to, we want to find what the temperature is in Celsius. So all you would do here. All right. So we've got TC that's temperature Celsius. So for temperature Fahrenheit, you would just substitute that in. So if we've got 80 degrees Fahrenheit, we want to figure out what that is in Celsius. You just see where it says TF in the formula. And again, you'll be given that formula on your test and you just plug that in here. So you'd have your 80 minus your 32 times five over nine. And hopefully you guys remember from your PEMDAs, your order of operations rules, right? It's, please excuse my dear aunt Sally. We've got parentheses. Uh, we've got, you know, those rules where you start with the parentheses, right? So we would do what's in the parentheses first. So we do 80 minus 32. If anybody is confused about what I mean by PEMDAs or the order of operations rules, we can touch on that. Um, it's please excuse my dear aunt Sally. That is parentheses and then exponents and square roots, then multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction. And the addition and subtraction order is not really that important. Um, but anyway, so we would first do the parentheses. So 80 minus 32 is going to be 48. So we would be left with temperature Celsius is equal to 48. And we are still multiplying this, right? So temperature Celsius is equal to 48. And that's still multiplied by 5 over 9. And my cat is... We have another guest appearance, everybody. We've got Tommy back on here for another guest appearance. And we're up to 15 thumbs up. Thank you, whoever that was that bumped us up to 15. Big champion shout out. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And so Tommy wanted to make another guest appearance here. Um, could give him the marker and see if he wants to teach. But um, we might actually, folks, we might have the first cat to ever pass the GED here because he listens to me teach. He listens to my live streams. He popped in on the last live stream. And so, you know, he hears enough of this information. Um, we might have the first cat ever to pass the GED right here. Um, so, okay. Thank you for correcting me 
on so sush ant is that how you pronounce it thank you for correcting me i do apologize for not uh being able to pronounce that correctly here um but anyway so basically what we would do here i got distracted because tommy wanted to make a guest appearance so i figured i'd give him his own feature and make sure that we got him on the camera um and so basically so you get it down to this point right we've got 48 uh, times five and we've got a nine down there so there's a couple like ways you could do this so you could do 48 divided by nine first or you could do 45 times five and then divide it by nine i mean it doesn't really matter and i have my calculator off screen here so you would do 48 times five which would be 240 all right and then you could divide then we would divide that by nine which is going to give us a strange number here so uh let me let me rewrite this here so let's say we do 48 times five so temperature Celsius would be equal to 240. Divide that by 9. And so if you use a calculator, you figure out that the answer would be about 26.7 degrees. So that's an example of how you would do one of these uh, temperature conversion issue problems. Now that you know how to beat temperature questions, go see where you're at with the rest of the science test with the free GED science practice test. I'm really grateful that so many people in the comments have already said that it's helped them pass, so you'll want to check that out. And also make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. This is Parker from Desperate Champions teaching you how to pass the GED fast.